I think there is some justice in this world when it comes to being a Chicago Bulls fan because the Los Angeles Lakers will one-up you when it comes to having poor management because what did I just witness from the Los Angeles Lakers? Because I don't often do basketball content on this channel, but there are times where news like this just absolutely befuddles me because LeBron James just signed uh, to return to the Los Angeles Lakers on a two-year, $104 million contract and, you know, a no-trade clause to go with it as revealed on, you know, July 3rd or today. And <laughs> to say what they did in the draft as well with drafting Bronny James, I mean, Dalton Connect, very solid pick. Very loved the pick for them. But to fact that, like, they didn't go for DeRozan. They didn't go for any of the opportunistic, like, you know, bigs that they could have gotten, some shooting, some defense. They need that to win or even make the championship. And by all means, I'm all happy for the Lakers not making it far because, you know, for some reason, just that team annoys me in general. Their fan base annoys me. And I'm just happy that, you know, they, they just keep, it's the gift that keeps giving, as Stephen A would say, for the Cowboys. Like, this is just, like, ludicrous because... You see a front office and Jeannie Buss and Rob Palinka, how they always make it that, oh, we're going to make this team a championship contenders. And what do you do? You draft Bronny James because Le LeBron potentially said to, as much as LeBron says that he has no influence, he has influence 100%, especially being essentially the face of the league and going to be retiring in two years. And it's a cool for a headline, but in terms of a long-term deal or a long-term move, what are you doing? Like, that makes zero sense. And, you know, with this contract being signed, it just shows that they're not really being contenders. They're not going forward to make a run at a championship because this team is not going anywhere let's just be really honest with ourselves you may have have the opportunity to win the ist again back-to-back in-season tournament champions Woo! that's great bro but you're not going to be winning any championship i'm sorry your this team is not anywhere near a championship team you look at anthony davis who is injury prone but he did have a solid season this year you look at delo who's trash now you know lebron can keep doing everything himself and as much as you know i love to you know clown lebron and all that i still have to respect what he does in everything he does like he's by far the best player in the league in terms of talent and still like at his age and almost being 40 or probably is 40 right now at this point like it's crazy what he's done in this time that he's been in the league but if the lakers front office is just a complete joke like <laughs> if you're a lakers fan please let me know that in the comments below because i bet you guys are right now fuming at what the the rob palinka genie bus does because what do they actually do i swear that you know our gm and our uh, front office sleeps all the time i know jerry reinsdorf isn't anywhere close to being a good gm what's or go owner because he can't even manage two teams but this gotta be next level because you know besides the 2020 run and the 2022 or wait 2023 run that they had like nothing they have done nothing they've only gotten players that are like old as hell and are washed up like russell westbrook who is who was all right he was fine he's not washed but he's like not in his prime anymore and it didn't fit with the system when he they got him and they keep blaming everyone around but you know we try to rectify it by getting jj reddick they signed Mc, nate mcmillan to his staff but what else have they do this team has not improved does not move the needle these moves do not move the needle and you're saying Bronny james earned his spot you got to be kidding me. You really do. Because dude averaged 4.8 points. That's double what LeVar Ball averaged in college. Do you understand how crazy that is? Anyways, it's just fun to just clown on the Lakers because Jesus Christ, man. What what are we doing? Like, what are they doing really? What am I talking about? We, what are they doing? Because this is just embarrassing for them i'm like i mean listen lebron deserves his money and i think that they lebron was like you know what this is not gonna nothing's gonna happen i'm gonna just sign this max deal and essentially close the book on 
you know, potentially signing a new one. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. You know, it's always fun to laugh at the Lakers. In the, and please laugh at the Lakers down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.